going to be talking about how to set up Python on the EV3 Lego robot. The first thing you need to do is go to the EV3 website and download the image file. The next thing to do is download Etra. Slide the adapter into your laptop or computer. Click select image. Then select image file from the correct folder. Look out for the IMG file extension. Then click flash. to turn it on. Click System Preferences, then Network and click the plus sign in the corner. Then from the drop down menu click Bluetooth Plan and Create. Then press apply. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your EV3 to your computer or whatever it is. First thing is go on the menu and click wireless and networks. Once you've clicked that you should see Bluetooth and then click that. Then if visible does not have a smaller square inside it then click that. If power doesn't too, then click that too. Once both of them are clicked, press start scan to look for devices. If you haven't, if nothing comes up, don't give up. Just start again because sometimes it can take a long time. Once it's on, you should see the IP address. First, you put in the robot's IP address and then the password, which is Maker. Once you've done that, the familiar EV3 dev thing will come up. Then, you put in the sudo apt get update and it will update your robot. So I'm going to be showing you a simple program for the EV3 robot. Now I'm just going to show you the first program to put in your EV3 robot. Just watch. I, I hate you, I am a robot, and your friend. We're going to connect these, both of these leg motors, and put the this leg on in B, and this on A. 
but you can put it anywhere you like. And the next test you might want to do is make the robot move for three seconds. Now going to download Python 3 so you can do some stuff locally. This is idle and we're writing our first longer program. So in this program, if you're at least a meter away from the robot, the robot will either go forwards, left or right. Now I'm going to show you how to upload a program from the computer to your robot using the SCP command. Thank you.